Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about the L293D motor driver IC which is a very common type of motor driver that can be used to drive DC motors and stepper motors. So this motor driver contains two H-bridge circuits therefore it's able to control two DC motors or one stepper motor. So in today's story I'm only going to be showing you how we can be able to use it to control a DC motor like this simple DC motor here and a simple stepper motor. I'm going to be using the 28BYJ48 stepper motor to demonstrate how this IC works. But before I can begin, let me first have a close look at the IC and then give you a simple explanation of how it works with these different types of motors. So this is the simple pin diagram for the L293D motor driver IC. As you can see, it has 16 pins, and because I've said it contains two H bridge circuits, so we shall have one side on this left side. We are going to be connecting the first motor, or the first H bridge circuit will be connecting this other side, and then the other one will be on the right hand side. To be able to turn the first motor on this other side, we need to use the enable pin A, which is pin 1, then we use to have the in 1, out 1, out 2, and in 2. So these enable pins, for example, enable one, enable A and enable B, are used to control the speed of the motor. So when they are high, the motor is moving, and when they are low, the motor stops moving. But for better controlling of the speed, we usually use the PWM technique. And these other pins, the in one, in two, they control the direction of rotation of the motor, while in three and in four control the direction of rotation of the other motor. So the motor itself is going to be connected to out 1, out 2 for the first motor and then out 3 and out 4 for the second motor. Then of course you have the ground pins and then we have the power supply pins. This IC has two power supply pins. One I call it the VCC1. Usually this is connected to the same power supply as a microcontroller or it is given 5 volts. So that it can be able to control the internal circuits of the, like the IEC here. Then this other VCC2 is for running the eight bridges for the motor. Usually it is around, you can give it from around 4.5 to 36 volts. So that is the simplified pin diagram of our IEC. Now let me show you how exactly we use this IEC in controlling DC and stepper motors. So this is the setup to demonstrate how this L293D IC is going to be used to run the DC motor. In this case, I'm only going to be using one DC motor. So I want to connect this other side for the DC motor. Then the other pins will be left and connected. So we are going to have a different power supply for the Arduino board, which is going to be supplied by this VCC1, which is the 5 volts. Then I'll also be supplying another 5 volts from a different power supply running the H bridge to control the motor. So this is the code for running the one motor I'm going to be connecting there. Since I'm only using one motor, I'll just use one enable pin. And remember the enable pins are going to be using the PWM signals. So you have to connect it to a pin that can enable PWM signals. In this case I'm using pin three. Then I'm using the in in one and in two connecting to pin four and pin five of the Arduino board. Then I'll declare the, these pins as outputs in the setup. And then initially, I will have all the motors turned off. Therefore, all the states of the input pin will be low. Then I'm going to be using two functions, one for direction control and the other one for the speed control. So in the direction control, I will just have to change the state of the input one and input two. For example, if input one is high and input two is low, the motor will be rotating in one direction and if I change the states of the pins, the motor changes the direction of rotation. But in this case, I have to maintain the speed of the motor constant. In this case, I'm going to put it at a PDM, PWM value of 200. Remember, PDM, remember PWM signals run from 0 to 255, so I'm just using 200. Then for the speed control, you just have to enable, remember we said the speed is controlled by the enable pin. So in that case, I'll be having to change the value of the PWM signal on the enable pin. So for example here, I'm going to use a for statement so that I can be able to increase 
and decrease the speed of rotation by changing the value of the PWM signal from 0 to 255 I shown here. Then turn off the motor you just simply turn all the input pins low. This is the simple program to run that one motor. If you run to run two motors then just follow the same procedure but in this case you have to also declare the enable B and then input 3 and 4. You can try it out and see but in this case let me show you how my motor works. I've uploaded the code and you see here the motor is not running because I've only applied power supply to the Arduino board or the mic microcontroller. So I also need to supply the power to the H bridges to control the motor. So I'll press here. And as you can see the motor is now running. It runs in one direction then changes direction. So that's how I use the L293 D motor driver run the DC motor. Now let me also talk about how this driver is going to be used to run the stepper motor. So the code for running the stepper motor is very simple. I'll just use the stepper H library. In this case, I'm using. In this case, I'll give the steps per revolution. Since I'm using a full step, it will be 2048. And then I'll create a simple instance for my stepper. Output and inside there, I'll put the steps per revolution kind of and the so connections of the input of the motor pins. So, that when the signal is so you should take note of the format in which I put these pins. The motor can then I use the set speed, and the set speed function to set the speed at around the 8 rpm. So Since I'm going to be using one power speed. source, then the so speed has to be a bit low so that you can minimize on the power consumption. Most of the other functions I've already talked about in some other tutorial where I was talking about the stepper motor. So you can check it out also and see. Okay, let me try this out. Hello. And then you can see. So that's how you are going to be able to control the DC and stepper motor using the L293D motor driver IC. I also have different tutorials on how this IC is used in the motor driver shield. You can also check it out. So I hope you have learned something new today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to watch my other tutorials and also to like my videos. Thanks for watching.